Robert Picardo will reprise his Star Trek, Voyager role in the upcoming Star Trek, Starfleet Academy, but the actor may not actually be playing the most famous version of the EMHMKI. Picardo was a major part of the Star Trek, Voyager cast throughout the show's run, and the recent resurgence of his character speaks volumes about how beloved the USS Voyager's nameless Doctor was and still is. After a recent comeback as the Doctor as part of the Star Trek, Prodigy Season 2 cast, his legend continues to grow beyond the show where the character debuted. The first version of the emergency medical hologram took its physical appearance and abrasive personality from Dr. Louis Zimmerman, who was also portrayed by Picardo. The MKI was eventually rendered obsolete when Zimmerman overhauled the design, but with the USS Voyager cut off from the rest of the Federation, Captain Janeway, Kate Mulgrew, and her crew were unable to upgrade their EMH, and the Doctor evolved to become a valued part of the Voyager family. However, when Picardo returns in Starfleet Academy, there could be a big twist. Robert Picardo could be playing a different Star Trek, Voyager Doctor in Starfleet Academy. Picardo could be about to return to the role of Voyager's backup EMH from Living Witness. There were countless versions of the EMH MKI, as it was originally designed as a short-term medical assistant. While Star Trek, Voyager often implied that copying Doctor's program wasn't an easy task, there is an installment of the show that reveals Captain Janeway's ship did have a way of resurrecting Picardo's character should he be destroyed. In Star Trek, Voyager Season 4, Episode 23, Living Witness, Voyager's EMH backup module is located centuries into the future. Although the Doctor becomes integrated into the alien world society, he eventually sets a course for Earth after a longing for home. The period of roughly 700 years that has passed in Living Witness means it could easily be the 32nd century by the time the backup EMH reaches Earth, which is when Star Trek, Starfleet Academy is set. So, although the original Doctor may also have survived this long, it's a little coincidental that the timelines match up so perfectly. As such, Picardo may not be reprising his role as the version of the Doctor who reached home in the Star Trek, Voyager finale, but rather the backup EMH who has finally made it home after setting off in Living Witness. It's unclear exactly when Voyager's EMH backup module was left behind, but as Living Witness is technically a distant Star Trek, Voyager sequel, it's safe to assume that the episode's version of the Doctor shared only certain memories with the main version of Picardo's holographic character. The backup EMH understandably has the same personality traits as his counterpart, but his experiences from Living Witness and beyond would have resulted in a divergence between the two beings. Robert Picardo has played other versions of Star Trek, Voyager's Doctor before. Star Trek often kept Picardo busy. The ubiquity of the EMH MKI in a certain period of Star Trek's 24th century means there has been ample opportunity for Robert Picardo to play his holographic brethren. One of the most prominent instances was near the end of Star Trek Season 7, Episode 19, Author, Author. After Voyager's Doctor pens his in-universe holonovel, Photons Be Free, the episode reveals the countless reproposed EMH MKIs who have been put to work in the dilithium mines after being rendered obsolete by newer medical holograms. The other versions of the MKI in this scene are played by Picardo, as is the warped version of the Doctor in Photons Be Free after Tom Paris, Robert Duncan McNeil, toys with the story. Picardo also played the USS Equinox's EMH in Star Trek, Voyager Season 5. However, Picardo played Doctor variants in other arms of the Star Trek franchise. Not only did he cameo in Star Trek, Deep Space Nine Season 5, Episode 6, Dr. Bashir, I presume, but Psiado also made a brief appearance as the USS Enterprise ESEMH in 1996 Star Trek, First Contact movie. Star Trek, Prodigy Season 3's renewal could provide the Doctor with a rare storyline. If Picardo isn't playing the backup EMH in Starfleet Academy, Robert Picardo as both Dr. Lewis Zimmerman and Voyager's EMH in the Star Trek, Voyager Episode Lifeline. Although Star Trek, Prodigy Season 3 has yet to be renewed, the Season 2 finale made it clear that Voyager's Doctor will remain a big part of the animated show's future. It's very rewarding to see what the character is up to so long after Star Trek, Voyager's ending, but if he is playing the exact same EMH in Starfleet Academy as he did in Voyager, and if Prodigy is renewed, it'll be possible to witness two distinct parts of the Doctor's timeline in separate, active shows although actors have come back to reprise established Star Trek roles before they very often feature in just one project at a time. One of the few exceptions to this is Jonathan Frake's return as Will Riker in Star Trek, Lower Decks and Star Trek, Picard at roughly the same time. That being said, the two shows aren't set anywhere near as far apart from each other as Star Trek, Prodigy and Star Trek, 
Starfleet Academy are set to be, so Picardo's potential accolade for appearing as Star Trek, Voyager's Doctor twice at once would be far more impressive.